hi guys welcome back in the previous video we have learned that how we can download this theme and we have downloaded that theme and then extracted this theme right and it's locally available okay something like this so now how we can integrate this into our laravel application so for that purposes we need the laravel application so i'm going to my laragon directory if you are using the zamp mamp or ramp you can use your own directory where you can run your php laravel application so i'm here and now i'm going to open a new terminal and create a new application so i did this i have created this through this command composer create project dashboard app and it's installed the laravel 11 version which is the latest version of, of laravel and uh, it's created this full application so now i want to switch into this application dashboard uh, app and now i'm there and i'm going to open this into my vs code right okay great it's uh, open now and i'm going to turn on my laragon so it will create the virtual host for my application okay so if you don't know about virtual host i don't need to type local host to uh, slash dashboard app something like this i'll uh, enter the domain name it would be my local domain so it will be provided by my laragon so i have uh, now clicked on yes button i'm allowing this to create the domain for me and yes it's created and if i visit this dashboard uh, dashboard app dot test it will open my laravel application okay great it's opened my laravel application and if you want to open your application something like this so i have full course on this laragon how you can create set up the laragon environment in your system and then also i have described that uh, how you can create the virtual domain using the laragon so you can visit this course into my serial this channel and then you will be able to learn that how you can uh, create the virtual host anyway this one is our application and uh, now it's also opened here so for the very first thing is we need a uh, uh, database connection right at that time we have uh, connected it using the sqlite and this sqlite is stored here right this one is database.sqlite and now if you want to do uh, keep with this same sqlite you don't need to change anything you need to just go here and enable these credential right but for this purpose you need to have at least set up your connection if you want to use mysql uh, as my one so you need to just choose something like this so i'm going to enter the dashboard app something like this right and uh, <clears throat> i have changed my uh, change my database name so i'm going to open this into my php my admin i'm going to create uh, this dashboard app database uh, in my php my admin okay so then i'll migrate my everything into this to uh, make this i want to connect this with my laravel application so also we need to uh, set up the things i'm going to tell you in a minute after setting this out okay i have entered the wrong usernames so that's why it's kicked me back okay perfect now it's open and i'm going to click on this new button but click on new and here you need to enter your database name i have copied this uh, dashboard app and yes it's created this database right it's empty now and i'm going to now uh, run here my migration php uh, artisan php artisan you can see this i'm going to move this top migrate okay hit enter and yes it's migrated our table and if i go here we can see our all of the tables and yes our tables are present here right 
so in this way now our application is connected with the uh, connected with the uh, our application this uh, uh, this dashboard app and now what we need to do here we need a starter kit right starter kit for what we need a starter kit to install the uh, starter kit to add the functionality of login register open the dashboard and so on thing so i visited the laravel 11 documentation and here on the right side there is a starter kit option just click on that and uh, visit here laravel breeze is comes with the uh, with the laravel blade so you can use this out right something like this so how you can install the laravel breeze so just copy this uh, composer require laravel breeze and i have cleared this out and paste this out hit enter so now it will pull this laravel breeze from the from its uh, github repository and then install it into our application so this is first step we need to pull it from there and then we need to install it into our application right so when this one this will be installed successfully so we will run this second command our composer command is completed successfully and now we need to run our second command which is uh, uh, php artisan breeze install right breeze and then we type install hit enter and now it's asking us that how you want to install the breeze because because breeze comes with the live wire you can also install it for the react view and for the api too but we need this we want to go with the blade right so just type here blade and hit enter and it's now asking us that do you want to add the dark mode support i want to say no i don't need this and now it's asking that uh, which testing framework do you prefer i'll hit enter right so i don't want to choose anyone so it's going to by default pull the default uh, testing framework and it's uh, pulled it from there and now uh, setting it up right generating the file discovering the file and it's almost done right so now what's next so just go here and now we need to run this php artisan migrate i think we have already migrated so we don't need to do anything with this one it will add some profile related things maybe i'm going to install this in a minute okay and then what we need to do is npm install npm run dev and this one this one will be done automatically if it's uh, not we will install this out right okay so now what's next what's next our starter kit is installed successfully uh, these are the steps and we need to wait it for generating the files okay it's generated the file and installing the node modules so before this we need to run this uh, npm install and npm uh, run dev ourselves but now in the latest version of laravel it's doing this job for us so it will install these dependencies and then set up everything and then we need to just go and test that functionality okay it's installed the npm and then it's also run npm run dev or by default it's executing npm run uh, build which is for the production and it's run it for the production so you don't need to run your terminal uh, using npm run dev so every time you are running your application you need to run that out but if you are uh, your development is completed so you can run npm uh, run build so then you don't need to run every time npm run dev right so now it's completed successfully and i'm going to visit my application here which will come here at the login and register page and yes they are there just click on the register page and i'm going to close these other sp admin things okay just close this everything add this out here 
okay good now here i'm going to uh, log in my uh, register myself here okay then i'm going to click on this register and yes i'm registered successfully right just click on this here click on this profile and you can see this uh, my user have profile related information right perfect i can change my password my new password my confirm password and let's go here and run this php artisan migrate maybe it's contain the profile related thing no nothing to migrate okay everything is there we can also delete that account and we are visiting our profile and dashboard page if i go here and click on that logout here it's redirected on the home page just click on this login again and here i can log in with my same credentials i have did right even i also check this remember button there is a forgot functionality so user can forgot their password if they are not able to uh, they don't remember their password right but make sure this when you will click on this it will send this through the email so for that purposes you need to set up your email details in your dot env file here just open your env file and then you need to mention your mail details here otherwise it wouldn't work or by default it also it's using the log right so it will not send the email it will just send this uh, in you know, mark this into the log something like this right so let's try this out email password with reset i have click on this now log is created and you can see this debug bar, bar from hello this is your uh, reset password and then how you can reset this out you can click on this link and then you can reset your password right so in this way you can reset your password and at that time i know the password so you click on this login and yes our user is logged in successfully right from the next video we are going to integrate our theme right uh, i don't need this dashboard i want to integrate my uh, laravel theme uh, not laravel theme i want to integrate my sp admin dashboard so i'll integrate this in the next video and if you like this video hit the like button and also share your feedback i'll see you guys in the next one bye, -bye.